I'm in my old neighborhood where I grew up <clears throat> and uh, looking across 294 Tollway, they're building this overpass and uh, they're finally starting to build a wall. I talked to those guys over there <clears throat> and they confirmed it's kind of gonna be about, I think 25 feet high. Regardless, it'll block out a lot of the noise. Now I grew up down this street and a lot has changed since then. One of my best friends used to live right here at this corner house. I got jumped right where that black car is. There used to be an old stable that went into the, uh, like a little barn that went into the uh, hill over there. They've, they tore that down like 30 years ago. But uh, yeah, a lot has changed. Hey, you look at northbound, that hill, there used to be a hill over there. This is Garden Lane. It used to go all the way up into uh, where Keene Avenue is, somewhere around there. And at the top of that hill, there used to be a Cook County Sheriff's Police Station. They had cars there and they had motorcycles. I do have a couple pictures of it. Uh, Paul Scoza, the information comes from, longtime resident, like I think a 100-year-old resident of Justice. Uh, he told me about that. And then uh, there was another story, this hill. Mr. Gibbadowski used to come down used to go to school and he'd walk to school this way it was Dosher over there right uh, kind of where the tollway is now right next to it on the uh, north end but he was coming to school one day with all the other kids and there was a guy that was on a tractor cutting this hill that's up here and uh, they you know he waved to him and you know back then you waved and said hello to adults and just you had to be you know a decent person or your parents would tan your hide. But uh, they said hello to him, and he kept on going about his business, did his thing, waved back. They came later on that day. Ambulance was there, and it was a whole scene. But the uh, apparently, the uh, tractor had tipped over on the guy and crushed the guy. I think his name was Charlie, from what I remember Rich Gibadowski telling me. Uh, this is going back probably 19, you know, 30s, 40s. Um, but he worked for the Justice Public Works at the time. And, uh, yes, yeah, so this is Guard Lane. Goes all the way down. Large, very large lots on this, uh, street. And, uh, it's a big stretch of road. People usually speed down and the cops really don't do much. Um, uh, unfortunately. But, yeah, I just thought, you know, in its kind of pivotal moment for me, we grew up with a tollway bellowing our ears all the time. And uh, it was very, very like hard at night because you'd hear it, and uh, it was really aggravating. And you get, you know, the fumes and everything. You're probably still going to get them, but they're doing a lot of improvements up there. This is Sterling Estates Trailer Park over here. Now, back in 1978, they had. Hold on a second. 1978, they closed down Playland Park, and that used to be an amusement park. Uh, I guess there was insurance reasons, but. Yeah, they closed it down, unfortunately, because it used to, I mean, if you had something down there that was a draw besides a trailer park, I think you'd have a lot more businesses for the stretch of road down here. Uh, you got the Quick Pick down there, you got the Cupboard, you got Firestone, uh, there's a Polish Music Center there, uh, there is a tax accountant place there, but there used to be so many different businesses, but I mean, it's, it's changed a lot from when I grew up out here, and uh, howdy. And uh, it's, it's changed a heck of a lot. So just looking at it now, it brings back a lot of memories. I took a walk to drop my car off to get fixed. And uh, I just wanted to document this because, you know, 50 years from now, you don't know. But thanks. Questions, comments, just drop them. Have a good one.